I'm back. Okay, so our um, first part of this video ended up where we were creating this uh, stem and leaf plot over here that had three digits because I wanted to show you um, how that part was done. And if you remember what I said, that um, we take the, in this case, we're taking the first two digits and having the leaf um, just be the single digit. So um, that's pretty standard of what you're going to see for that. Um, so, um, so I've got my key down here. I've done my stem and leaves for the ones who have uh, just the hundreds. Then I have the hundred tens, which would be stems of 11. And then that one has a stem, a leaf of one. So that would be a uh, 111. Um, I have another 11 with the leaf. You're just looking for the two ones. So that one's going to be, uh, a stem of a, a stem of 11 and a leaf of eight, which would make a, a 118. Um, and you would do that all the way through. You go into the 20s. I already used this one. Go through the 20s. So that would be stem of 12s, stem of 13s, because I've got some uh, 130s. Stem of fours. Oh, I left out a stem of 11 up here. It should be a five. Let me fix that because you do want it to be in numerical order. It's just easier to organize. And of course, if you go ahead and take these numbers and put them into numerical order first, it makes it easier. 13, and then we have a stem of 14. Okay. So you would uh, then go and put all your leaves in. And then you can do this last one. You can uh, uh, pause the video and create this last stem and leaf plot here. Okay, so we can also do stem and leaf plots. It's not always with whole numbers, okay? It's not always with two-digit numbers, not always with three-digit numbers. We can do it with fractions, and we can do it with decimals. Should not have decimals and fractions mixed. But anyway, here we go. So um, we're going to create the stem and leaf plot um, with um, Bruce, Alfred, and Harvey and the number of miles that they ran. So if I have, you have to think, think back to fractions, okay? If I have a fraction that it doesn't have a whole number with it, meaning it's not a mixed number, then that is going to be... Um, that's going to be smaller. So I think the smallest one I have is right here. Oops, and I kind of made it like where you can't see. Um, that's going to be uh, one half. So that's going to be my smallest value. And then I have, um, then we have the whole number one, which will be next. And then what else do I have with ones? I have one and three fourths, one and a half, one and a half. So we know that a half is smaller than three fourths. So uh, my next one is going to be one and three fourths. And not, oops, sorry, not one and three fourths, one and a half. One and one half. Might want to put... Uh, commas in between these might make it easier to see <clears throat> one and a half and then I have um, I have two one and no I have two one and a half so one and a half again all right then I have the one and three fourths one and three fourths oops Oh, shoot. All right. Let me catch it. One and three fourths. One, three fourths. Okay, that's all for my ones. So now I'm going to look for twos. Do I have any twos that stand alone as a whole number? I do not. So I have two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. 
So all of my, I have two and a half. How many times do I have it? I have it three times, don't I? Two and a half. And two and one half. Okay. Hopefully, oops. Two and a half. One, two. Right, yeah. Okay. And then I have, okay, I already used this one and three, four. So uh, my next uh, leaf would be uh, three. Here's my, and I do have a three that's just a whole number. So it doesn't have any, uh, it's going to be the smallest. It doesn't have any fractions attached. Then if three and one fourth and three and three fourths, <clears throat> it's going to be uh, three and one fourth is smaller than three and three fourths. So three, oh wait. Three, we have three by itself, so we don't want to mix that up. Comma, three and one fourth, and then three and three fourths. Okay, so this is putting the numbers in order, and especially with the fractions, it's really important. So, all right, so up here I have a um, I have just a half. It doesn't have a whole number. The stem of that is going to be zero. This is there's zero whole numbers. Okay, so my whole numbers are going to be uh, my my first digit. So the key is going to look like this. It's going to be like um, I'm going to use the one and a half. So one one half equals two just one and one half, okay? So I have a stem of zero and a leaf of one half. All right, so next I have a whole number, I have one and it's a whole number. So that means I'm going to put now I'm not going to put, you can put a zero there, but you're going to be, you have to be really careful. I would just put just the one and it does, well, no, no, no. You do probably want to put the zero. Um, just remember that that is not 10. That is a, just one. We don't have any fractions in any fractional parts next to that. So then I have, but I have a stem of one, um, leaf of a half, another leaf of a half. and a leaf of three fourths. Okay, and I'm gonna do my stem of two and so forth uh, till I, I get across there. Okay, so that's how it works with fractions. All right, this right here is a, it will take you to an IXL um, practice, which is really good for you to do. Um, show you, so. Here, it's got some questions where you're interpreting um, the stem and leaf plots. I recommend that you do that. Practice that before you take the test. Oops. Okay, so you would just click on that and it'll take you right to that IXL site. That's just, this would be uh, letting you um, actually create the stem and leaf. All right, so um, this is a problem solving uh, with it because not only is it doing just the, you know, creating the stem and leaf plots and kind of reading them, but you are um, uh, interpreting them and analyzing problems. So it says, Jose recorded the number of yards he ran during football training camp. He used a stem and leaf plot to organize the data. Okay, I had to change the, um, the key a little bit. I didn't like the way it was, but basically 15 slash two means 152 yards. So the two digits before, that means we're gonna have a three digit number in all of these. So we have 210, 212, 213, 214. Now this says based on the data, how many yards did Jose run during the training camp? So what does that mean you're gonna to have to do? You're gonna write all of these down so you're going to write 210, 212, 213, 214. I would go ahead and add those together. Add 
221, 222, 222, 222, 223, 225, add those together, do the same with the 23, the, the stem of the 23, add those three groups together, add those together, and then add all of them together. I know that's a lot of adding, and I have told you, you can use your, um, uh, mul your, um, uh, what are those things called? Calculators for this, okay? So, um, you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you're reading the stem and leaf correctly. And that is it. Um, um, if you have any questions, uh, just ask. Remember, there are lots of resources on, um, on stem and leaf plots and on dot plots under the resources section. This is a power focus area. So remember that this is part of your self-directed learning. Okay, this is the part that you would be doing during SDL time, um, taking notes and learning um, as much as you could on your own. Okay, um, but I, I think I've gone through it. Um, and then uh, let me know if you need any help. Have a great day, guys.